Okay, real quick, I want to talk real quick about uh, this Boss Man D-Lo thing. Uh, I don't really care about the Boss Man d in particular and uh, what he's going through here. I more specifically want to talk about uh, people having a, a rap style as a, a rap artist versus just churning out the same thing over and over again and uh the but i think i want to uh dig into the mechanics of how a person becomes that person who just makes the same song over and over again and the feedback loop that creates that i want to talk about two separate things here the first thing i want to talk about the fans who consume it and then i want to talk about the artists so first i gotta talk about the main reason why these people who end up making the same basically the same fucking song over and over again niggas like we can say names we can say boss mandilo because a lot of his songs sound the fucking same we can say the baby at one point we can say little baby at one point we can say it's quite a few niggas that like their the songs are interchangeable is is they're, they're not switching it up at all they're not talking about different subject matter they're not even changing the the way that they're saying the shit it's like they're literally saying they're make they're literally making the same song on different beats and the reason they keep doing that is because niggas actually like listening to that there are people out here who are like I want to hear this same thing over and over and over and over again. I like how this sounds. So I want them to just keep doing that over and over again. They're, they're basically rewarding the people for being stagnant. Okay. They don't want them to grow and evolve and try different shit and talk about different shit and use different techniques. You even use different type of beats. They don't even change up how the damn beats sound. The beats be sounding the same. You know, if, if they tried using a different beat, sometimes it might force you to rap differently. You can't rap the exact same on different you can't use the rap, the same rap style on a Metro beat that you would use on like an Alchemist beat, right? But these are niggas who have in-house producers who are banging out 500 beats for them to choose from. And they all sound the goddamn same. And the fans, they keep on playing it over and over again. And they, they're rewarding this. They're, they, they're telling the artist by supporting this shit. <clears throat> Like, yeah, we don't want you to try nothing else. We don't want you to evolve. We don't want that. We want the same nigga making the same beat, rapping the same subject matter, using the same flow with the same cadences and the same BPM, literally everything the fucking same. That's what I like. Keep giving me more of that. And that's a problem. You niggas need to improve your your taste in music man you can't just you, you, we gotta stop listening to literally the exact same shit over and over again and then uh we take it on over to the artists themselves because they're more at fault for this because they're they're scary okay first of all a lot of these niggas are not artists anyway these people they don't care to make art. They're not making music because they like making music and they have something to say. And they, 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 they're not expressing themselves using this art form. They're not making art. They're making a product to sell. They're doing the shit for money. So, of course, if the audience is saying, yeah, don't, don't evolve. Don't do nothing different. They're going to not evolve and not do anything different. And I feel like that's a problem because all the best rappers, uh, all the most legendary rappers, everybody that means something in the culture, they didn't make the literal exact same shit every album. They they tried different shit. They tried a different aesthetic. Maybe the songs like and here's the other thing, because the Boss Man D-Lo thing was like they, they brought up. Well, don't 
certain people have certain styles. I thought we was able to have a certain style. <coughs> and there's a way to do that. There's a way to have a, a patented a specific style for yourself without it sounding like the same exact song. The perfect example of this is a rapper like Buster Rhymes, right? Buster Rhymes, he had a very unique and different rap style when he first came out with the uh, leaders of the new school. And then after that, he had he started rapping, doing the the woo ha got you all in check, and that was different from leaders of the woo, the new school. Now, if you hear a Buster Rhymes song, you know it's a Buster Rhymes song with his patented style. But he, what I'm getting at here is he didn't see that woo ha got you all in check got big and said, you know what, I'm just gonna keep making woo ha's over and over and over again. He decided to to switch it up and make different sounds and do different beats and he he actually was creating art that he cared about and that's why we got a lot of the classics that we got like Wuha don't sound like uh what's that song he made in the song uh everything remains raw everything remains raw don't sound like Pastor Cavassier. Pastor Cavassier don't sound like Touch It. Touch It don't sound like Make It Clap. You know? And they're all in his signature style. Like, when you hear this, you're like, yeah, this is a Busta Rhymes song. Like, this is a specific style that's uh, uh, Busta Rhymes specific style. But they don't sound the same. The beats don't sound the same. He's not rapping the same. He's not using the same cadences. He, like, at a certain point, niggas, like, in the 2010s, niggas started seeing Busta Rhymes as the fast rapping guy, like he was Twista or something. He didn't used to do that back in the day. He didn't, when he first came out, he wasn't rapping fast. He was rapping with Tribe Called Quest and them. He was damn near a backpack rapper when he first came out. You know, he evolved into the fast rap guy and then he stopped doing that. He, he tried something else. And it's not like the music got worse when he changed his style or not changed his style. But when he used different uh, mechanics and different dynamics in his music, it didn't make the music worse. It made it more dynamic. It made it more interesting. It made us want to say, damn, I wonder what he's going to do next. And another thing I saw from the D-Lo video, which really, the, this is the only reason why I even want to turn the camera on and make a video about this. He goes and responds like, what do you want me to do? You want me to rap like Kendrick Lamar? And then he makes a video talking about some, you want me to rap like spiritual liberal, you know, the typical fake ass boom bap lyrical, spiritual lyrical individual rap. He was like, y'all want me to do that? No, we don't want you to do that. That would be terrible. Nobody told you to rap lyrical, spiritual individual. They, they didn't say that in the post that you responded to. I don't even know why you brought that up. What the nigga specifically said was switch it up. He wasn't even like saying it, what you're doing right now sucks. He's just saying it sounds the goddamn same. You're saying you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. Switch it up, please. Do something special. Do something unique. And he doesn't want to do that. And artists like him don't want to do that because they're not doing it because they like making music and they like making art and they want to express themselves and make something special for the world. They're doing it for money. They're doing this because it's a career and they found a formula that works for them. And they're just going to keep doing that until it don't make money no more. And then they're going to find the next thing to try to get money off. It's it the the art and the moral of this story is that this is degrading the art of of hip hop. This is this is a lot of the problem of why music is not hitting like it used to it's not special like it used to be it's not the same this doesn't mean that music sucks because people aren't rapping spiritual lyrical individual we we nobody we're not asking for that nobody's asking for spiritual lyrical individual most people think that sucks now you know we just want something 
that means something. We want something that make you feel something. We want something, or if if you gave us that uh, the first time and you've been doing it a lot over and over again, uh, switch it up and try something else, you know? And if that don't work, maybe you could go back to what you used to do and then you have a good comeback. But the fact that you won't even try, the fact that you, you, you're not even thinking about the idea of making something special and unique instead of regurgitating the same shit that you've been doing because you're scared of not, uh, making a boatload of money off of it like you you've gotten accustomed to it's just it's just uh it just goes to show that the fucking music industry is doomed and w i'm sorry for what our kids have to look forward to it's, it's all gonna be paint by numbers made by committee off of the goddamn conveyor belt music that comes out the motherfuckers don't care about making art the no, there's no feeling, no emotion, no nothing, no soul, no spirit. You don't feel nothing from these niggas' music, man. And it, it's it's apparent. And this is why, you know that that is why these niggas all they care about is trying to make a dollar, and the music is suffering for it, and they don't care. And the people who listen to them don't care. They they're continuing the feedback loop. The more that they see that making the same shit over and over again is working, they're going to keep doing it. And other people are going to see it working and they're going to start doing it. And it just starts a feedback loop of shit when the music it continues to degrade and degrade and degrade even more after that. So, you know, it, it sucks. It the, the, the music sucks. These artists, they're not trying you know, these niggas, they're going in the, the booth and making 700 songs in two months and then deciding, OK, these are the 15 I'm going to put on the album. You know, there's no, you know, these niggas don't believe in concept albums no more. Niggas don't believe in listening to uh, songs from beginning to end. Like they don't believe in track lists, like the order that they uh, put the song in and the album apparently doesn't matter anymore. You could just play it on shuffle. Like, where where's the artistic value of that? There's, there's, it's nothing. But, you know, it is what it is. I can keep going on about this over. This is really just a continuation of the stream I did the other day. The, the, all this is helping contribute to the degradation and the 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 doom of the music industry as we know it, you know, until people start really giving a fuck about this shit, it's only going to get worse. But it is what it is. Thanks for listening. I'll be back on the stream. Goodbye.